everyone and welcome back to Rival Stars. It feels like just yesterday I was trying cross country for the first time, but Steeplechase has finally come to desktop edition as well. Steeplechase came out on mobile a few months ago. On mobile, you guys also have two new horse breeds now. We are unfortunately on the desktop only going to get, I think it's the Cell Francais. I'm definitely saying that wrong, but we're getting that in like next year in the first little bit of next year maybe like february or something i'm not sure so like i want the arabian horse though but we gotta wait a little longer on desktop but yeah today we're gonna be checking out steeplechase for the first time obviously in real life steeplechase is actually a very dangerous sport for horses and riders and everything and i'm not necessarily condoning it but i think it is still fun to check out in a horse game i think it would be fun if rival stars acknowledged how dangerous horse racing can be but at the same time i think rival stars is definitely going for like you know people can take good care of horses but in steeplechase it's not even just the care of horses it's just that it's really dangerous to have a bunch of horses racing and jumping let's just get started though so we have trenton tj james saying how about a change of pace parcel valley wants you to try their new steeplechase course we are actually here on my cassandra save i actually have different saves for every rival stars video that i do so it's been a while since i've played in this one in this one <laughs> okay i've not seen this at all like only the content that rival stars shared themselves and i'm actually kind of excited because i think that the jumping is very interactive it's different to cross country which i'm really excited for look how much stuff we have on the mode screen now okay you're gonna love steeplechase it's the same as flat racing as a flat racing course but with fences on the track welcome to steeplechase like the other styles of racing steeplechase has its own set of techniques to master racing from fence to fence is a thrill but it's not without strategy here are some tips on hitting the track like a pro jumping press the jump button while inside the perfect jump zone like i wish that's what we got for uh cross country sprinting performing a perfect jump will temporarily increase your maximum speed use sprint wisely to take advantage of this oh so i'm guessing after you perfect jump for a while your maximum speed if you sprint just after a perfect jump, you'll be faster than just normal sprinting. And bonus boost, perform multiple perfect jumps in a row to increase your sprint energy recharge rate. Okay, and we've got a few different, we've got Parsons Valley with four courses. We've got Billion Court, Billion, sorry, Billion Court for four courses, which is intermediate. Professional is Lincoln Abbey. And then we've got Kildar, which is champion. All of them are four courses. I do wonder how money-wise this is gonna play out. Like personally, when I play right stars i like purely breed and then i jockey to get millions of dollars but i think it is also fun for me to check out cross country and steeplechase sometimes because i'm obviously like actually playing but i think steeplechase will be more fun than cross country because it's going to be more interactive we also have a friends list i don't have any friends <laughs> possible rewards i like that it tells you like exactly what you can get because i don't think racing does that can I choose my horse? Okay, so we can go Ollie, Orange Boy, Galaxy, Eevee, Patches. Do I have, wait, I want to ride, why can't I remember the name? My dream rival star's horse. Is it in the pasture? Imaginary Butler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I want to ride Imaginary Butler. Let's move to stables. One thing that I never check out is the tack. Wait, not horse creator, customize. Let me tack up Imaginary Butler. I never do this. Is there Christmas tack right now? Ooh, there is a Christmas tack. That's kind of fun. Is it going to be different tack in cross country though? Let's spend 400,000 on all of that. And now we've got a bit of a Christmas because when I feel me this, it is Christmas. I have a feeling that my horses might potentially be capped. Let's just click enter. Okay, I'm just like so confused. I'm like, where can I bet on myself? Where can I? I didn't get to see whether I was... Can you not bet on yourself? I guess you can't bet in cross country, can you? Okay. There's no jumps on the track yet. Look at all our horsies. Oh, look at us at our Christmas tag. I should have put Christmas like clothes on, but it's not like Christmas clothes you can put on. Oh, we're already starting. What? Do I start sprinting? I'm not going to sprint yet. How do you know where to jump when I'm just in that space? Oh, you're going to slow down. Oh, you're going to give me a tutorial. You're inside a perfect jump zone. Press space now. That was kind of crazy. I want to get inside a little bit. Okay, I can't move yet. This is still a tutorial, I think. Okay, and then let's jump. Does it, does it slow down every single time? Hold space while your energy's boosting. <gasps> oh, you hold space. Oh, can you hold space in cross country? I always just like aggressively spam. 
I want to see who's behind me. Oh, yeah. We're, we're like, flying away. Early! Oh, no. Oh, this is so good. I'm so glad that this is more interactive because across country is kind of boring. Like, it's fine, but at the same time, it's kind of like you, you're just, like, controlling how fast you're going. Whereas this is, like, fully... Want to do even better next time? Check out the breakdown. Oh, so we've got one early, five perfect, total jump six. It's all about the perfect jumps. I feel like this is, like, easy because I'm on, like, a good horse. Like, obviously, I could be faster, but because I'm on a good horse, I'm just, like, so much faster than all the other horses. I don't like how this starts. It feels so, like, scary. Okay, let's just start off slow. Let's, like, kind of cut in the middle a little bit. Perfect, okay. I don't know if it's still best to be on the fence when you're doing steeplechase. These are also not the steeplechase jumps that I've seen, like, in the real world. I've seen, like, the bush steeplechase jumps. Obviously, this is not the same as that. Okay, I think we're, like, flying away from everyone again. Like, I'm just too good at this. What can I say? Okay, I want to get perfect on every single... <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's go. Super fun though. But I just feel like there's no challenge because I'm just so good. Horses are still running. Horses are still running. <laughs> How fast did I beat them by? How are they still running? Okay, I fully come to a standstill now. I beat them by almost 20 seconds. Like 15 seconds. Uh, Maybe I should get like on a less good horse. I want to get up to the professional because I think that's when I'm going to start, you know, having competition. So obviously just like cross country, there's no jockey system either. So you do have to run this yourself. I feel like you get money from doing this, but I still feel like it's always going to be faster to do. Oh, this one's got like an actual curve to it. We haven't had that yet. Okay, let's pull out in front a little bit. Get up there. Wait, 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 wait. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Wait, that was kind of bad. We were too close to the fence there in my opinion. Ah! What was I even saying? Oh, yeah, because in racing, you can just hire a jockey and you can just get millions of dollars within a minute. Whereas these ones, you have to, like, run a race for, like, a minute yourself and you only get, like, a few thousand. But obviously, this is from desktop standpoint. I think it's completely different playing this game on the mobile because you have a different money system to desktop. And just, like, look at them back there. They're not even finished that job yet. <laughs> I ran on Ollie! Oh, I didn't even realize. Oops. I do like how at the end you're running and then they slowly slow down. This time we only won by like 14 seconds. See, like 18,000 for like a minute just isn't amazing to me. I'm sure if you're like in the early game, 18,000 sounds like a lot. But I can do some racing with jockeys and I can get like multi-million dollars within a few seconds of clicking like bet number one and then skipping through the jockey and you just get the results and you get a few million. But I definitely love how much more interactive this feels. I'm actually really enjoying the jumping system, but at the same time, I feel like I've gotten the hang of it really quickly. So eventually it might feel simple once again, because I really just feel like cross country just felt, oops, <laughs> cross country just felt so like, oh, you're just, I don't know how to describe it. I just didn't feel like it was entertaining me. It wasn't interacting me. It felt so slow because you're basically slow cantering the entire time. Racing is kind of fun, but also once you get to a certain level, your horses are so good that you don't really have to think too much about it. And you just have to sprint where you can sprint and stuff. Whereas this, I'm sprinting. I'm looking at the ground, trying to jump at the right time, you know. My sprint management was a B. What does that mean? We are now going to intermediate at Billen Court. La Ville Passage. I wasn't, I didn't even realize we were like, I didn't even know. Wait, look, there's gaps beside the fences. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're going like the other way. Oh, this one's got bushes. This one's a pretty jump. I like these jumps. Oh, I didn't sprint. How close are they? Okay, we got a little bit more competition this time. Theoretically, can you avoid the jumps or does it stop you from avoiding the jumps? Let's see. Does it let you go around them? I think it does, but obviously you miss the opportunity. Okay, well, yeah, pro we were disqualified. <laughs> That's kind of fun though. I like the fact that you can be disqualified. 
I want to know how I can get a better sprint rating. Am I sprinting too much? Because I didn't think I was sprinting that much. Like, I sprint after a jump, but then I feel like I've always got the entirety of my, like, little green bar anyway. So I might as well, like, sprint the entire time. Oh, my bad. Like, if I just sprint the entire time. <gasps> What's happened to me? Wait, I want to know what the commenters say. I, I need to listen to the commentary. Why is the, like, blue line slightly off? Waiting for the start at Villain Court. Imaginary Ooh. butler trying to surprise the That's field. us! Yeah, we are. All right, let's go. They're ready and away. Royal Vision sets the early pace. Haystack Unicorn also off to a good start. Okay. Imaginary Talk about me. Yeah. The field. Yeah, I am. Alias challenge in second position. Then as the race moves on, it's imaginary. Oh, that was new. Baggage bother. As the race moves on. Through. 500 out and it's imaginary butler. Curse yeah, it is. In second place, categorical chancellor. Look at them all the way back there. Imagine. Yeah, I do really like the ending as you're slowing down. That's that's nice. I think I like that. 15 seconds again. What's the most amount of money that you can make? 400,000 isn't actually that bad. That's not too bad. I, th I think that's a lot better than cross country and I just prefer playing steeplechase to cross country. I keep forgetting to look at what my sprint grade is. Am I still a B? On their back is Christmas Crunch. Ironic Christmas Crunch! I wonder if they had to record new like voiceover for this. I wonder who the voiceover guy is. It's actually really funny when you think about it that the commentator is is the same guy no matter where you go in the world like it's just always the same person he's just traveling the world he is just the guy <gasps> i was too early i got a c on my sprint management but on that note we are up to advent no professional we're up to lincoln abbey train your horse in oh i should have read that the specific things that you can train your horse in to get an edge in steeplechase specifically. I'm going to guess. I think I saw acceleration, probably Excited jump, maybe Abby. sprint. <gasps> it's the, the sunset. Run. Look how pretty this Ready is. I don't Pump know what makes a good sprint management. Oh, I got an A. Let's go. I'm now up to Kilda, the champion courses. And I still haven't had too much of a challenge. We're going to beyond park first that's really funny it's an inside joke like no one would get it i must say that i'm not sure how i feel about the starting still the starting just feels so weird to me you just start running in th slow motion this is really funny because this one is so flat with no grass you can actually see what the jump bar looks like and it's got like the gray area is early and then the gray area ne nearest to the jump is late so you need to jump in the blue. I didn't notice that before. I only saw the blue. This is really clear what the jump bar looks like. What the heck was behind me? Was that a water jump? I also have to say, like, I don't know how I feel about the jumping on the ground. I heard, like, someone else talk about this, like, a few months ago. I don't know when I heard it. But, like, when you've got, like, but I feel like it's very common for horse games, especially, like, I played a lot of, like, DS horse games. Uh, one of my favorite games as a kid was um, Secrets of the Ranch. All of those games have the jump bar on the ground. But I was watching a video and they said how like in the real world when you're jumping, you want to be looking ahead of the jump. Like you don't want to be looking at the ground. So it does like, I guess in a way I feel, oh my gosh, I, I have never been this close to people. Hello? I've never seen other people in my peripheral vision before. Like, I'm either looking, I kind of look ahead a little bit, but I am looking at the ground. It must be a water drop. Or I'm looking at my sprint bar to make sure I'm not sprinting no, too much. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, because as I said, like, I feel like that's just how horse games work. They have the jump bar or the stride manager on the ground. And I don't hate that. But I do wonder if there was a way that in a game system we could make it so that you weren't always looking at the ground when you're jumping. Because I don't think that is realistic, because you want to be looking up anyways that's just something that i thought i'd say but like yeah i'm still having a lot of fun i'd be doing this for about half an hour 
35 minutes and we're already all the way through basically the steeplechase. So I, I don't know if I'm going to pick up steeplechase again because I don't really ride cross country that much. I do only play rival stars when I'm breeding in my videos. So it's like, I don't know. That one for a moment there, we were pretty close to people, but we pulled out in front again. And we're still about, oh, six seconds now, six seconds ahead of people. But we're starting to get the big cash with 200,000 there. You definitely don't get as much because you don't bid on yourself. So you don't get that extra, like, money for coming first when you bet on yourself. But I'm not actually, like, I've got no idea how horse racing and betting and whether there is betting in steeplechase. Maybe there's just not. And that's why they didn't do it in steeplechase or cross country. I, like, I don't think I've heard of betting in cross country it's actually really funny to me that we got cross country in a racing game but like steeplechase is still like horse racing there's just jumps on the track so i feel like maybe there would be but like once again i've got absolutely no idea about like really too much about the racing world in the real world and how to compare it oh my gosh they're right there <gasps> there is someone like right beside me right now okay we can pull away we can pull away oh is it more fun when there's people like on my tail i don't know they're kind of like getting my way a little bit but i guess that's part of the challenge like doing a perfect perfect jump <gasps> is that perfect is was that blue bar a little bit thinner than the other ones <gasps> i didn't mean to press the space bar i wasn't pressing the space bar i was sprinting <laughs> Extinct motif pushing past horses. Motif, I like that name. I didn't know that there was like, what are they called? Um, oh, I, I think there is a technical name, but water jumps in steeplechase. The, the technical name is like, I swear I know it. It's like on the tip of my tongue. A Liverpool? Yeah, I think it's a Liverpool. It's really funny to me because, um, not near the area where I grew up, but like, kind of. There's a place called Liverpool. And um, so whenever, you know, the Liverpool, oh my gosh, we're in the last one. Whenever Liverpool, like, jump was mentioned, I'm like, Liverpool's a place. Okay, let's do the hardest one. Let's see if we, like, really have a challenge. Because, yes, there was people next to us. I didn't get to see. I think we still won by a few seconds at least. But, like, come on. I want to, like, I want to have to run for my money. Literally. <laughs> okay. How are horses placed in a row in real life like how is that determined is it random oh my gosh we're already off to a terrible start we're like in the group we're in the group oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah this is fun oh i was early again oh no i'm literally running for my money right now come on okay let's sprint let's sprint let's sprint yikes okay we're okay we got this should i be on the fence right now it's pretty, like, straight, so I don't think we gain too much by running on the fence. Are we first? We're coming first. Okay, let's go to the fence, though. It just it just feels right. Oh, I was late! Oh, my gosh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's someone right there. There's someone... I was early. Why can't I jump? Oh, my gosh. There's still seven more jumps. We're okay. We got this. Well, I take everything back, apparently. I can't do this. It's, like, so hard to actually see when you're, like, with people to see the ground. But I think that's the point, you know? It's also about feeling. I guess if you were, like, a professional, you wouldn't have to look at the ground because you could just know the distance. Oh, I forgot to press space. I'm so silly. Do you think we can... We can't beat them. We're, we're gonna come last right now. Well... I don't know what our uh, what our odds are. Is there odds in this? Okay, we're let's go. Let's go. Let's just start off by sprinting. Not too much. Not too much. Okay, we're already doing a lot better. I think I failed the very first jump last time, which was not a good start, you know? I might have sprinted too much at the start. <gasps> I was early. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, they're right behind me. Oh my gosh. What the heck? So this is what it feels like to actually have competition. Oh my gosh, I just saw inside a horse's head. I wish Rival Stars had first person. I feel like that could be fun to experience, especially in steeplechase. Because, like, you know, when you are in the line of horses, there's a bunch of, like, invisible horses, you know, glitching in your screen. Whereas you wouldn't have that in first person, although you might. I'm not sure. Oh no. 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 Eagle, oh no, we're out of sprint. We're out of sprint. I repeat, we're out of sprint. Just behind. It's busy. Ah, I think we could do it though, but we're not. We're not like you know, 20 seconds ahead of the people now. We're like on the same level. 
we found our people. Okay. Okay, so this time we won by like a second. So, it does get harder. <laughs> but I think that was pretty fun. I actually had a lot of fun doing that because it felt so much more interactive because you were actually in control of the jump. Like, that's what I want from this game. I want more interactivity than just controlling my sprint. Let me know whether you guys have played with Steeplechase on mobile or on desktop, whether you like it, whether you use it as a money method or just a fun method. Like, how do you guys play Rival Stars? I don't know. I do think that Rival Stars is more fun in a way on mobile because you do have to grind more, whereas on the computer, I just jockey my way through races to get money to be able to level up in prestige so that i can grind breeding so it's just a different playing experience on mobile anyways if you want to check out me playing cross country for the first time you can check out the video on the screen if you want to check out one of my breeding videos then i will have a breeding video on the screen as well i love you all so much and i will see you all later bye